I want to feed the 57 gallon reef tank. We've got some brine shrimp and some krill for the fish and some baby brine shrimp for the corals. I'm going to feed the corals first. I got a little um, dropper, like medicine dropper. I use a turkey baster, but I got these for free at the grocery store. So, so I'm gonna go in and I feed the, the kryptonite trumpet coral. He's gonna start opening up. And close up. I, I fragged a mushroom that was right there, over there. And the pieces, there's one piece right there. And another piece somewhere around here. I don't know. They are just everywhere. I was trying to get these things right here. This thing. These corals actually got them as live rock. I don't actually know what type of corals these things are. Was that sand? Something keeps like bringing in sand in there. Should blow it off. Out of there. It's really annoying that sand. There's no land that it covers them up and they didn't open up. Just close up, just blow them out like that. And then, shit, this looks like we got a dead hermit crab right here. You know, they die off, but let's see what we can do about it. Get some more food for the corals. This one I'm gonna get a little bit of krill right here. See if um the trumpet coral likes it. So, yeah, LPS. Cool. It's my first LPS. See that big chunky piece I just gave him right there? Turn it like that. And then right here is the other side. And there is the little piece right there. Now these, the zoanthids, they don't, they don't really eat that much. Compared to the other corals. Alright, so I'm done feeding the corals. Now I'm gonna feed the fish. We just lean it to the side a little bit. Sometimes you can put a little water in there to make it easier to take it out. Just a little bit And pour it in there. Take some, and the yellow tank will start feeding. I'm just gonna place it up like that. I'll stand back. Sure enough, I'll see it and it'll come. Now, my blue hippo tang is inside the hole. He hasn't come out in a couple of days, actually. I know he's alive because I've seen him move in there. But he just hasn't come out to feed in a long time. Yeah, and then a little bit more. get it sometimes. Here you go.
get the hip retains inside a hole right there. Get them to come out. Once I'm done with that, all the core fits that I want to go down to the sink. So I got the protein skimmer cleaned it out yesterday. And I just added this rock right here on the, on the beach. And I have some live rock right there with some coralline algae. I'm hoping to buy some potato morpha. Pump. I'm having some issues with the pump pumping more water than it should. I need to reduce it. I don't have to buy a valve or something else. If you can please help me with that problem, subscribe or message me. Now, as you can see, the blue hippo tank isn't coming out. Got some algae going in there. Yeah, so he's in, he hasn't been coming out in a while. The trumpet guards you can see they're feeling perfect. I have some I have some um, T5s, 78 watt. Hoping to get some maybe some SPS Acropora. That mushroom right there, it came off. It just decided to come off the rock. And oh there it is. And these right here. That's it for now. Let me get some like a four in there. It's, it's a new tank. It's been running up for like maybe like two months, maybe. That's about it. Maybe just two months. This rock I found in the in the beach, so I'm carrying it right now. That's some air. I have an aerator in there. And yeah, let's carry the rock. Okay. I don't look it. That's about it. Thanks for watching.